For years, countless shows and movies have been filmed in Vancouver, BC. Nicknamed Hollywood North, Vancouver stands as the third largest center for the film industry in North America, so it's no wonder it's become a popular starting place for up and coming actors. Um, my name is Adam Parsons, 24 years old, um, actor. I'm Enrique Garcia, I'm 24 years old, and I'm a server and a bartender at the Old Spaghetti Factory in Gastown. To get work in Vancouver, uh, it's, it's, it's easy and it's hard at the same time. I think there's, like, um, there's a lot of TV productions being shot right now. Uh, a lot of movies are coming in town always filming. There's a lot of stuff being filmed, so there's a lot of opportunity. But then again, there's a lot of actors in here, like a lot of actors. The roles that I've been hired for um, in Vancouver, um, I've done a, a few commercials for Target, uh, T-Mobile, um, Metro PCS, um, NASCAR, um, ESSO, um, and then I was in a film called Sunflower Hour. That was the first film that I did a couple years back. Well, I think in order to get paid acting work, you need to for sure have an agent. Um, there's a lot of opportunities to do like film and television out here, like in short films. It's not always paid. There's a lot of student films going on. There's a lot of there, there, there's a lot of films going on. Not a lot of it's paid. And as they start their careers, how do the many actors in Vancouver make their living? Not necessarily through the film industry, but in food and hospitality. I've been working in the food and, ho and hospitality industry for about almost four years now. Yeah, so it's been good for me to. Um, with acting because they're very open with their um, availability and it's easier to cover shifts and I usually just work nights. Um, actually, like a lot of my friends go from like restaurant to restaurants. Um, yeah, like if you're especially you know, acting, you, you're basically going to be at a restaurant. That's just what you're going to do. I think it's just the easiest thing to do. It's, it's a good and fast way to make easy money to live on your own, pay for acting classes, and I also with availability it's very easy to take the night off if you need the night off for an audition for the next day or the day. Um, there's a lot of people that work in the hospitality industry and so it's very easy to find somebody to cover your shift if you need to. So like, well, like how do you make money like with the service industry? Like you don't, because you don't, you don't typically work eight hours a day. You maybe work a few hours at a time, and then sometimes you get like a really lousy section. You get paid like nine dollars an hour. Uh, sometimes you don't even get tipped out that well, so it makes us all at ten percent. So you know you, do, you only make about maybe like fifty dollars a day, maybe. Like it, there's no like set hour. It's, it's not full time. It's mainly just part time. You work like a few hours a night. You, may, you might be lucky to make like I, I'm lucky enough to if I work seven hours. I'm like that's if I'm really lucky. Yeah, I mean the shifts are shorter. And so money is a little tight, but everyone seems to make it work, you know, you just got to make it work. And if you got to cut some things out because to pursue your dream, then you got to do that for now until money starts coming in or with gigs or a job or so, yeah. In 2013, the Economist Intelligence Unit found Vancouver at the highest cost of living of any city in North America. Despite the expenses, the show must go on. I think just like anything with acting, like it, it's it's really hard. Um, it's just kind of sucks with acting because everyone knows actors in movies, such as huge entertainment industry, and that's and the people you kind of see on movies, like that's just like the one percent, those like lean actors. There's like people who are just like who've been working all their lives as an actor, just scraping by, and they're just as good as those actors. They just don't get those parts and that. Um, and just like anything too, like just gotta work hard at it and if you love it, you'll do it. So maybe the next time you're eating out, keep in mind you might be getting served by the next Sandra Bullock or Russell Crowe, both of whom at one point worked as a server themselves. The only difference is your waiter or waitress needs their chance to make it there.